we have now reached the last chapter of the middle section and appropriately enough it is titled bhakti yoga devotional service because this is the main theme of the middle section and the concluding part is therefore titled devotional service arjuna has been progressively over the course of the previous chapters talking about different questions and doubts that could arise in people's minds and getting arjuna to refute them now one doubt that arjuna brings forward at the beginning of the 12th chapter is is a devotee better than a person who worships your impersonal aspect or is the impersonal worshiper better who is higher and krishna immediately states unambiguously that the devotee is better he is higher for those who worship the impersonal absolute the process of self realization is extremely difficult the impersonalist actually starts visualizing himself or herself as being the absolute as being god and this is a major flaw in that understanding i remember many many years ago i had, i was passing by and there was a lecture going on by one such person who was following this path and the title struck me and i couldn't restrain myself and i went in and the topic was you are the whole w h o l e you are the whole meaning that you are the lord and curiously i was distributing books at that time so i went in anyway and then this person was speaking about how because he saw me coming in in these clothes so he he declared that there are some people who want to worship god and then go to vaikuntha and in vaikuntha what would they do they want to be servants but you are not a servant you are the whole so that was the theme of his talk which reminds me of a little joke one time there was this young man who was walking by and he saw a sadhu sitting there so he got blessings from the sadhu and the sadhu was a devotee actually and so he said you know look you chant to the lord and you tell him that you are his servant so but before that actually no i'll i'll start it was a mistake he met this person who was a gyani who was a worshipper of the impersonal and he was saying so hum so hum so hum i am that i am that so he told this young man look you should worship this because you are the whole so then this man started muttering to himself so hum so hum so hum and then he came across a devotee like gauri prabhu who was you know mincing no words and he told him what you chanting so hum but that's not correct you should be a servant of the lord so you should say no all right you said so hum so just add a da before that and what do you become daso hum das means servant so i am your servant i am your servant so he started chanting daso hum daso hum and then he went back and he again met this gyani who was a worshipper of the impersonal and then he said oh what is this you are chanting daso hum you are not the servant you are the whole so now all right anyway you chanting this daso hum so just add this sa before it so what does it become sada soham sada soham sada means always so i am always him i am always god so then when he went back to the devotee the devotee was aghast and then gauri prabhu told him that look you just add another the before this 
instead of sada soham you become daso dasoham daso dasoham i am the servant of the servant of the devotees so that indeed thank you for this good instruction gauri prabhu <laughs> so that is really the highest essence and krishna points this out here also and he says the devotee is in a far superior position and then he goes on to explain that the highest position of spiritual achievement is to constantly think of krishna but not everybody can do that so a step lower is someone who practices the regulative principles of devotional service with the objective of reaching that stage of constant absorption in krishna at a third stage is one who wants to be a devotee of krishna but is not able to is not able to follow all the rules and regulations there are many devotees who say look you know i'll give you donations i'll help you but don't ask me to chant <laughs> yes there are people like that you know don't ask me to follow these principles you know i'll do everything i'll serve i'll i'll do many things so krishna says all right yes there's a scope there that's category number 3 so work for krishna working for krishna means prabhupada explains in the purport to participate in the missionary activities of krishna consciousness you could render various types of services you could contribute by different ways there are some people who for some reasons may not be able to do even that so krishna says all right sacrifice the results of your work for me which means prabhupada explains in the purport that they could even do some ordinary simple mundane charity with the idea that one day they will become favorable to receive some higher message because at least they are going away from the path of selfishness and then he goes on and says that there is the path also of meditation and then the path of acquiring knowledge in this way progressively he talks about different stages culminating in the stage of constantly thinking of krishna which is the perfection of life finally uh, krishna tells arjuna in this chapter that there are many many things about a devotee which please me very much and he lists out 32 different qualities of krishna and those verses we chanted just now advaita sarva bhuta nam maitra karuna eva cha and so on beautiful verses and what is it in us that pleases krishna if we want to know then we have to read these verses many times we want to please krishna for some material thing that we like but if we really want to get the benefit of being in connection with krishna then we should develop or try to develop these qualities and the perfection of krishna's being pleased with us is that he will enable us to love him the other day kulangana mataji was telling prayojana prabhu you know the only thing you should pray to krishna krishna please let me love you very profound very simple but very very nice so all that we need to pray to krishna is please say that after me krishna krishna please please, please let me love you let me love you. that's all and that's the essence of this 12th chapter bhakti yoga and when we only strive to love krishna and all these other qualities will automatically come hare krishna <laughs>